you had a you had something special to say about machine gun kelly yeah. a while back so well you know what the thing is is I, i'm not a big fan of poses like that and and look it's it's you can't go from i still think it's funny that he was completely kicked out of one genre by one man um i'm i'm never going to be a fan i was never a fan of that style of of sort of pop punk to begin with anyway it was not my thing um you know i re i respect what he's managed to achieve in a very small amount of time i think that that's uh that's interesting but i i, I don't have any respect for the person and i don't have any respect for the the fact that you can be such a chameleon and you can go from one thing and then try and be something else and and then because of you know certain and you know things that are surrounding you and 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 necessary you know, what what it, what it, your life in general and, and you and look he's got travis barker right that was involved in that and travis barker is awesome i mean i have no problem with travis um i never have but again i'm i'm, I'm just not a fan of that genre of music it's just not because by the time that stuff became really popular i think i was too old for it honestly um but yeah, I, I, look, I, <laughs> I think I, I think the guy's doing what he wants to do, and that's cool. I think that you're really, really stupid to come into a, a new genre and then start attacking guys like Corey Taylor, who in, in many people's minds is like a, is like the metal messiah, you know, at this point anyway. So you either have a really large set of balls or you have a really small brain to do that, or maybe you have both. I don't know. But you can't come into a, a new world where you are you've just basically stepped into it and, and you aren't even in that world i mean you know slipknot is is, is something that that you don't really want to want to mess with and slipknot no. fans will will destroy you so <laughs> it's funny but it's funny that the, you know i say this one thing out of in, in in jest i'm like oh yeah you know you guys were doing god's work or whatever and dude mgk fans lost their minds like i don't even care about i don't know who you people are i mean dude I, and if you if you like my band and his band but you get mad at me for saying something about him then he i mean maybe you're not a fan of my band i don't know i just usually i try to stay out of those political type of things but i just couldn't help myself because mm -hmm. look i also like to, to piss people off every once in a while i'm yeah. still in a rock band i'm not here to toe the line i'm right, not here to, right. to like to like you know sort of sit quietly in the corner and nod my head while in approval with everything i see and i've never been uh, a person that says yeah i i'm a all rock bands are my friends in fact there are a lot of rock bands i don't like because i I've, i know them personally i i see uh how they, they've changed over the years and how they started drinking their own kool-aid and how they start thinking that they are the bee's knees and you know, I've, I, I just distanced myself from all of that stuff. And he's 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 coming in with this massive ego. And it's already a, such a turnoff to me where it, it puts me off to the point where I'm like, OK, well, we can never be in the same room together because you make me want to vomit, man. And it's like, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I just but again, I hope the guy has a long and fruitful career. <laughs> yeah, it's just not for me, man.